Walker. Hey guys, Lux, it's midnight. You're right, it's the new year. Hey Phoenix, how about a kiss? I don't think so. Now get over here, Stein Eric, I want some sugar. Oh, in a minute, okay. <laughs> hey, what are your new year's resolutions, Zack? I'm gonna finish my Let's Play of Final Fantasy 13. How about you? Wow, you're a brave man. Let's see, my resolution is to finally finish uploading our Let's Plays together of St. Row 2. Really? No, that's never going to happen. My actual resolution is to never mention my love with Zack storyline ever again. Phoenix, what about you? Well, let's see. My New Year's resolution is to kill both of you. Oh, snap! I'm afraid you can't do that. Why is that? As if a switch had been turned, as if an eye had been blinked, as if some phantom force in the universe had made a move eons beyond our comprehension, suddenly there was no trail, there was no giant, no monster, no thing called Douglas to be followed. There was nothing in the tunnel but the puzzled men of courage who suddenly found themselves alone with shadows and darkness. With the telegram, one cloud lifts and another descends. Astronaut Frank Douglas, rescued, alive, well, and of normal size, some 8,000 miles away in a lifeboat, with no memory of where he has been or how he was separated from his capsule. Then who or what has landed here? Is it here yet? Or has the cosmic switch been pulled? Case in point, the line between science fiction and science fact is microscopically thin. You have witnessed the line being shaved even thinner. But is the menace with us, or is the monster gone? I don't... What the f***? Something wrong? What? What the f*** was that? What just happened? What? 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 We'd written ourselves into a corner, so we pulled what we in the business call a monster a go-go. But that narration doesn't make any sense in this story. It didn't explain anything. It didn't make any sense or explain anything in Monster A Go Go! You know what? This is such bullshit. I've actually lost my will to fight. Here's my gun, you guys. I surrender. The Monster A Go Go works every time. So, what are you going to do with me now? You'll probably tie me up in harsh leather bonds and brutally ravage my delicate, helpless, feminine body in victory, right? No, we are going to follow all the rules of Geneva's Convention. You will be held by us until the conflict between the revolution and YouTube is over. Until then, you will be giving three meals a day, regular visits by the Red Cross, and be allowed to write letters to whoever you want. Well, that's surprisingly humane of you. But there will be no kinky s and at all? Nope. Damn. You know, I hate that we have to be on opposite sides of this conflict. We're kind of like Romeo and Juliet. Not really. You're such a pretty girl, Phoenix. You're also smart and sweet. Well, smart at least. You've also got a great pair of, uh... Boobs? Uh, no eyeglasses. Oh, for Christ's sake, I'm switching to contact lenses from now on. Because of this, I think we ought to make you rejoin the revolution. For real this time. I agree you're back in Phoenix. But I don't want to rejoin the- Shh. I'm about to start the show, alright boys and girls, let's- But I'm evil! I tried to kill both of you! It's okay, nobody's perfect. After all, to err is human, to be clean is divine. Or something like that. I agree completely now! Come on boys and girls, let's- Could someone please get me out of this chair? Been stuck here since you broke into the restricted area halfway through the previous episode. Everyone, shut up! All right, boys and girls, let's play.
plan worked well, at least for a while. The revolution was able to defeat all the CEO of YouTube's henchmen, and Felix Tsukino was able to assassinate the CEO of YouTube and take her place. Of course, it's foolish to believe that any plan will go perfectly. Yeah, I agree. We predicted only a 1% chance of the revolution being able to defeat Phoenix. However, we did make preparations for this possibility. Of course. Yeah, he did cut off my right arm. However, after everyone left, I snuck into the restricted area and found the CEO of YouTube's body. I cut off her arm and grafted it onto my own body to replace my own severed limb. Yes, yes, the revolution has proven itself to be more powerful than even our wild estimates had predicted. No, no one figured out that. I've actually been working for you the whole time. Yes, I look forward to seeing you too, Mr. President. Uh, I love you too, Mr. President. <laughs>